Micah, thank you. Well, there is good news on the horizon for air travelers heading into the holiday travel season. Denver 7's Russell Haythorn explains how airlines are planning to add capacity and what this means for you and flight prices. Enthusiasm among leisure travelers is soaring at the moment. It feels very normal again. Lucas and Ashley Potashinsky tried to get creative this trip in order to save. Miami to Cancun. So it was a bit cheaper for Miami. It would be great if things get a little cheaper again, especially internationally. And like just like about the flights to be like easier and a little like less less connection time and stuff like that. They might be in luck there. Delta Airlines reporting record revenue over the summer months on the heels of what the airline called tremendous demand. And corporate travel is experiencing a healthy resurgence as well. I came here again in 2018. And after that, this is my first visit after 2018, like after the pandemic. Dr. Asif Javid, for example, flew to Denver this week for a conference he's visiting from Pakistan. To attend the Geological Society of America conference, I have my paper which got accepted, so I have to present my paper there. He says the flights were a bit pricey. Due to the conference, I feel it was a bit expensive, but I flew from the American Airlines, which is good. According to Yahoo Finance, consumers are once again prioritizing experiences over material goods. Beyond that, Delta Airlines, for example, says they should be at 92% capacity by this December, just two months from now, compared to December 2019 before the pandemic. And Delta leadership says they should hit 100% capacity by early next year. Analysts say that could help to stabilize, if not bring down, airfare prices. Delta says as it brings additional capacity back, it will take pressure off pricing for consumers. Analysts say better cost productivity means cost savings for consumers. Welcome news ahead of the busy holiday season. Obviously, obviously that's good. Just yeah. more affordable. At DIA, Russell Haythorn, Denver 7. And I spoke with Skylar McKinley with AAA about expectations for holiday travel. Travel by car is back to pre-pandemic levels, he says, and most people will drive for the Thanksgiving holiday, while most people will fly for the Christmas holiday. He also says if you are going anywhere the rest of this year, start booking now. If you know you're going to travel over the holidays, whether that's Thanksgiving or Christmas, to save money, book now. Book your rental car now. Book your hotel now. Book your airfare now. Really, prices start to increase after about October 20th on every travel category. McKinley says he expects people to start watching their budgets more closely, though, because of inflation, the Russia-Ukraine situation, and its effect on the world economy, all of which have caused some prices to fluctuate. Now, one vacation option, taking a cruise. I spent some time this afternoon on travel website The Points Guy and found Carnival has slashed prices on some cruises to $26 a day because they're having trouble filling the ships this fall. Now, the managing editor of online cruise site Cruise Critic says cruise lines are really trying to recover from the pandemic. They're really trying to attract people who might right now might be scared of the other things that are going on in the travel industry, such as the high cost of airfare or hotels. And do keep in mind that some lower tier prices may not include extras like Wi-Fi or beverages.